Hey there, Nick Janitakis here. In this video, let's go over improving your Git commits by using the Git add patch feature. This allows you to create laser focused Git commit messages, and I use this all the time. Basically, whenever I'm committing code, I'm using the Git add patch feature. So check this out. Right here, we have a very, very simple Git repo. All it is is a Python based calculator. And if you don't use Python, no worries. We're going to spend very, very little time looking at this code. But I just wanted to show you here if I do a Git log, all I've done here was create an initial commit, right? That's what you see here in the directory output. I just commit these two files. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these files here. And if we take a look here at the calc.py file, you'll notice we have a garbage calculator. Uh, in fact, if we go back to here, you can see that I've named this project garbage calc because it's pretty much the worst calculator known to man. And uh, you can see here it has a couple of different functions to do very basic things like adding, multiplying, dividing, subtracting. But if you take a look here, these are actually all incorrect. So let's say you got a message from a user saying, hey, I'm trying to use your garbage calculator library and everything is broken. When I add, it divides, et cetera, et cetera. So you're like, oh, well, you know, that's a really good catch. You know, I don't have any automated tests, but I know how to fix this, right? Oh, for addition is the plus sign. Mm, that's a good call. So let's go ahead and fix all of these here, right? Uh, very, very easy stuff, right? Five seconds later, boom, we're done. But now we have a couple of different options here. You know, let's say that we want to commit this change. Well, we can do something like a get add dash A, which is going to add all the files uh, that have been modified to be staged to commit. Or we can do get add with a dot here, which is basically the same as uh, capital A. Or we can even do something like this and pass in, you know, an individual file to add. Now, if we do that for all three of those different options, then the entire file is going to be added at once. But let's say that you wanted to create a separate git commit message for every single function that you modified, you know, one for addition, subtraction, and so on. And that's really where git add dash p comes into play. So you can just run the git add dash p command. And we can see here that this is a diff, right? This is everything that was changed in this one file. But we don't need to add all these uh, changes at once. What we can do is we can type in s, which allows us to basically split up this file. And I believe it splits on white space, but don't quote me on that. But we can do the split option here. And now what we can do is we can actually stage this individual hunk, like just this chunk of code right here. So we can agree to do that by typing yes. And then, you know, get add dash P, what it does is it'll continue to go through all of your changes. And uh, you can either hit no to skip them, or you can hit something like Q, which is going to quit out completely. But if I do a get status here, we can see that we do have, uh, you know, this that little hunk that we added with uh, the S and then agreeing to it has been modified. So we're actually ready to commit this. So we can either do a get commit or a get commit dash M, you know, just to do like a one liner. And we can do something like, you know, fix addition function. Cool, we're totally done. So now we can do uh, get add dash P again. And now it's like we have these other ones that we want to fix as well, right? So we want to fix maybe uh, these, the subtract one, right? So we can do that as well and quit out and then do get commit, you know, fix uh, subtraction, right? Subtraction, there we go. And if we do a get uh, add dash P again, we can basically just repeat this process until we're happy, right? And uh, in this case, what is this one? Uh, multiply, right? Or actually uh, divide this one. Okay, cool. So let's do it one more time here. And then we have divide. Actually, it looks like I messed up on that one. So here's another trick too. If you mess up one of your commits, which I do all the time, you can basically just do a get reset head uh, tilde one, which is going to revert the last commit. And then we what we can do here is get add P again, split this, go to the multiply. Yep, that's the one we want to do. Quit out of that. And then in this case, it's going to be fix multiply, right? Multiply. And then lastly, we have this one over here. In this case, we can just uh, stage all of this because there's nothing left in the file. So we can just agree to that. And then we can do this one and we can do fix divide. Now, if I do a get log here, you'll notice here that we have separate commits for one file, but just different segments of the file. And what's really cool about the get add patch feature is it's not limited to one file. If you have changes across multiple files, it's going to just continue to cycle through all of those individual files. This allows you to create some really, really, really nice Git commit messages, because I don't know about you, you know, if I'm working for, let's say an hour or two, typically what I like to do 
is I like to get my project, you know, or the feature I'm working on totally working, right? Completely implemented, very well tested, et cetera, et cetera. But maybe I don't want to commit all of that in one shot as like, you know, add big feature or something like that. You know, maybe I want to split that up into like three or four really isolated commit messages. And uh, that's really where get add dash P comes into play. And uh, yeah, I use it all the time. It's such a handy, handy tool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've tried using this in a couple of different editors, including Vim, but I just find that using get add dash P on the command line to be pretty much the best user experience. I mean, your mileage may vary if you have a preferred tool, feel free to use that. But uh, I've had some good luck on the command line just using the raw git command. And uh, what I like about it is, you know, if you cycle through all of the changes, it really forces you to look at all of them. So it becomes sort of close to impossible to like accidentally uh, forget a file or a part of a file because it's like right in your face every time you cycle through it. So yeah, I mean, this is a pretty quick video on using a git add dash P. It's something I do all the time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer every single one. Uh, with that said, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.